A couple weeks ago, my dad came home and pitched me a small job offer. One of his co-workers was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The reason my dad pitched this to me was because the man's house has a big CCTV system, basically a camera in every room and then an operating desk where all screens could be watched on a big monitor. And I'm a computer science major, so my dad just always assumes that I know how to work anything technological. The man told my dad that he'd pay me $200 for the two days just to watch the house. Whatever that meant. My dad drove me to the house and introduced me to the man, whose name doesn't matter. The man made it seem like he preferred I stay in the upstairs room with the monitors as opposed to roaming the house all day. That was fine with me though. So when I wasn't eating, I was mostly just sitting in that room with the TV on in the background and doing schoolwork on my laptop. Ironically, the thing I was doing the least was keeping an eye on the monitors. Night came. I started wondering where in the house I should sleep since surprisingly we hadn't discussed that. So I sat back down at the desk and looked at all the different rooms on the screens to see which rooms had beds or couches. I noticed something I wasn't expecting to notice though. The back screen door was open downstairs. I didn't remember it being open. I looked through each and every camera screen in a panic. In the living room, a closet door was open. This one I knew wasn't open earlier. I texted my dad to call the man and ask him if he came back home. Meanwhile, I continued watching the screen. On the grainy, dark image, a tall person who resembled only a black shadow on the screen stepped out from the closet. I pulled my arms off the desk as I covered my mouth with my hands in shock. As I did this, however, my left elbow pulled some heavy object from the desk onto the floor, creating a big thud. The person in the image very clearly moved their head up to the ceiling as a response to the noise. They went for the stairs, walking up very, very slowly, step by step. Meanwhile, I got a text back from my dad saying, No, he's not. I just spoke to him half an hour ago. Why? I got so caught up in my phone texting my dad to send help that I didn't even pay attention to the monitor. There was a knock at the door. I looked at it and then the screens. The first screen I laid my eyes on was the one showing the person outside the door to the room I was in. When I remembered that door had no lock, the only thing I could think to do was jump out the window into the bushes below. I ran halfway down the block and then stopped when my dad called me. I had him call his friend and ask him if he was expecting somebody in the house. The man said he had no relatives or friends who had his key or would ever let themselves into his home. So he called the cops and had them review the footage. I got to watch all of it, and it showed everything. From the moment the intruder broke the glass to the backyard door, to the moment I jumped out the window and him running away shortly after. The intruder was never found. The footage was just too dark to identify his face.